Hello everybody. <sighs> Let's start a video. Why not? When I'm feeling stressed and like I'm just keeping my head above water right now. I don't know. I just feel like it's in my nature to... I, there's a hundred things on the list. Let's make doing a video right now 101. <laughs> but it's Monday. What day is it? 26th of June. And we are going on holiday tomorrow basically in the morning in a minute feels like we're going in like two hours and i've done next to nothing i'm feeling pretty overwhelmed but i do feel like i wanted to pick up the camera and i wanted to do a pack with me anyway that's the starting line because it's my first time packing for a holiday obviously with a baby we went away you would have seen in the last video for a little staycation but that was only for two nights this is a whole different ball game we're going for a week and there is a lot that i feel like i couldn't find the answer to easily online so if you're watching this and you're pregnant you have a baby and you haven't done the first holiday yet i'm hoping maybe i can answer a few questions in this and there's no way on earth i'm doing this video to be like i've got it all down to a t because i don't know if i've got it down to a t someone with five kids might be watching this and be like, oh my God, she's doing it all wrong. She's forgot this. She's, oh, bless her. She's, she's gonna struggle on holiday. She's not done this right. Yeah, maybe. But by the time the video's up, it'll be way too late and I'll be deep in my holiday. And hopefully I'll be more relaxed, more chilled. And I don't know, I'm like sweat, I'm profusely sweating right now as well. I don't know why I've got a jumper on, it's about 30 degrees, but Oh, I'm emptying the I'm emptying the washing machine. I'm, I'm just anyway. I'm gonna do a pack with me, and I'm gonna obviously show you what I'm packing. I'm gonna have time lapses here and there. I just I like pack with me. I like watching them, and like I said, hopefully I can mention things here and there that I've learned to do. Obviously, very new to being a formula feeding mum. I was breastfeeding. Not gonna go into it, but. I've had to figure out in the last couple of weeks how I bottle feed on the go. That was something that was completely alien to me. Still is a little bit. So we'll talk about that as we go along. But welcome back to my channel. Obviously, if you're watching this, the next video will be the holiday vlog. We're going to Corfu. Never been there, so I'm very excited. I've been to a couple of the Greek islands, but we both... We've both been to different ones, so we wanted to go to one we've never been to together for the first time, and we found a really nice family well from the reviews it looks like it's a really nice family hotel obviously we want it to be equipped for a baby we wanted to be able to have a cot there and again maybe i have recommendations for holidays soon for families because that's something again i really struggled to find recommendation it sounds really silly but that's like baby friendly but also suits the kind of vibe we like and we didn't necessarily want it to be a super kid holiday because she's a baby like if it's just kids running everywhere and it's just for more like toddler plus when they can run around that's great but we're not obviously at that stage yet we still want it to be like semi relaxing do you know what i mean i feel like i'm waffling but welcome let's pack it's gonna be hopefully less stressful as we go along nan is coming around to help me thank you jesus for my nan <laughs> she just obviously she's been she raised the kids her whole life so she's like why are you stressed packing for holiday i'll come around and help it's not going to be stressful and i am swimming in mess at the moment i've just really i've let life get on top of me too much i've said yes to too many things lately i was at a festival yesterday which i'm so glad i went to i went with primark to british summertime to see pink gwen stefani all them it was so good i was like oh my god it's the longest i've been away from ocean i left at like 11 am and then i got home at like midnight so i was away from her for like 13 hours which is the first time in 11 weeks of her life that i've left her that long but it was so nice to just like let my hair down be with all my friends summertime music this my vibe it was so good and the primark team were amazing but now i'm like oh my god i shouldn't have gone i should have been doing all this yesterday but it's fine it's fine we've got today we've got today i've got my nan it's gonna be great having my nan here cast at work it just so happens it's the busiest time for him at the moment because he's just yeah knee deep in work so he's out working today but he on the way to work has gone to boots oh my god i've got so much to mention actually really really quickly because i know people straight away are gonna be like oh my god you should have ordered all your heavy bits to boots to pick up 
hmm, about three days ago, I was like, let me do that. So I was on boots, ordering everything, getting really carried away, like, this is going to be great. We're going to walk through security, pick up all our stuff, nappies, wipes, going to take up less room. The next available slot for collection is Wednesday. We go Tuesday. I was like, you literally couldn't write it, but that's just me not being organized enough. So this is your sign if you're going away and you want to collect your stuff from boots. Great idea. But two things I'm going to say, actually. Be organized and do it way before me. So don't leave it five days. Leave it like two weeks. And also, I know someone that did that. Great, she got to Boots and the queue was apparently out the door. She was gonna miss her flight if she waited in the queue. So she ended up just going for her flight and not picking up the stuff and having to do the big shop when she got away. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that, have a couple of nappies wipes anyway. Anyways, that's all. I have this problem where I just sit and waffle and it ends up just being like, it should have been a get rid of me or just a catch up video, but I'm gonna pack. Hopefully it's not gonna be stressful. Let's go. Hello, here we are. I've just had a shower and I feel so much better. You know when it's just that sticky, awful heat? And um, I've got the team here. We've got Nan. Hi, Nan. Hi. And then Ocean's looking like she's gonna actually go to sleep any second. Ocean, say hi. Say we can't even see her right now. Say hi. And it does look like a bomb's hit around me, but the method at the moment is we're just getting all of Ocean's stuff out and we're Packing. deciding what to take. I know, as you're watching this, you might think I'm going a bit overboard, but while she, Nan just made a really good point. While she's not at the age where she's like making stuff mess, not messy, but playing in the sand, playing in the sand and getting dirty, things we could probably get a couple wears out of things. Yeah. However, I obviously have gone overboard shopping on like Zara and getting her really cute little bits. So figuring out what we want to take, how many things, and also a little hack at the moment that I'm going to be trying is. I saw this on TikTok. I ordered this from Amazon and it's a shoe. What's it called, Nan? It's called an organizer, isn't it? Shoe like a organizer. shoe organizer that you hook on a door, which obviously I've hooked on her wardrobe. And I saw a lady, she said, you just put their outfits together, whether it's like all day on the top, all night on the bottom, and it fits perfectly little baby clothes. So obviously that's a full outfit for her in there and you can literally put like their vest their shorts you could even be really really organized and put a nappy in each one so literally each day you just grab and go so that's how i'm going to be packing and this literally weighs nothing it's literally net so that's how i'm going to be trying to keep her stuff really organized here she is hi baby you're tired aren't you you need to have a nap in about 10 minutes but you can watch us for a little while yeah yeah, you excited to go on holiday? Whoa, whoa! She's <laughs> stuffing the fan in here. Yeah, yeah bring the fan. Plug it in. Are you gonna help me pick your outfits? Are you gonna help me pick them outfits? Yeah. Right. Oh my goodness. Where well, you know, start? Which, you're actually dressing her up. I mean, you're probably only gonna go out six nights. Why six? Oh, it's like the first night. Yeah. No, we'll go out for dinner. It's all inclusive, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm not overly keen on that. So no. send that one back. Send back? Oh, you're looking excited about that one. No, we're not having that one. Yeah, I keep going, but Why do I feel like I'm literally not getting anywhere? It's just one of them days. I feel like everything's going wrong. <laughs> oh, my nan's just taking Ocean for a walk because she's fighting her naps today and I just really need her to have a nap because I'm just not gonna get anything done if not. And as much as my nan is great help for me, right now I'm just like, I feel like I can bang some out whilst um, Ocean's not here crying to be honest because I'll just be, I, I am that person, I can't, well I'm that mum, I can't just leave her crying, which I know you shouldn't leave them crying, but I can't just like drown it out and carry on and just hope she like self soothes. So I feel like we're just going to be pandering to her. So exhausted. <laughs> oh my god, you, like you know when you can't wait for the end of a freaking day. <sighs> but anyways, now I have some peace and quiet, it's a good time to say that Air Up very kindly sponsored today's video and this bottle when i tell you it's glued to my hand is no joke i need to actually dig out my pram cup holder because we're taking a different pram away and i'm hoping my cup holder will fit on it because we've got a travel pram 
because this, especially in the heat, and obviously it's going to be hot on holiday, but Air Up is my best friend. So Air Up is literally a water bottle, but also so much more because even though I only ever have water in here, you can experience so many different tastes and flavors just by having a different scent pod. Hear me out, I know I sound a bit crazy. I, feel, I have spoken about Air Up a lot in the past, but if you are new here, I will quickly explain. So I have all these different pods. At the moment I've got peach on and it's activated by your smell. There's no, like, literally there's just water in here. I promise you there's just water. And then you can see I've got the peach pod on top and you can choose whether you want it by pulling it up and activating the pod or you can push it down. I personally love that there's the option to almost turn it off. Sometimes you might just want a little bit of hydration and if you like fresh water, I personally love water, but I like to mix it up. It started through pregnancy. When I was pregnant, I didn't really have any cravings, but I did gravitate a lot more towards drinking juice and it's not good for your teeth. It's obviously not good for your health. And now I'm not pregnant. I am watching what I'm eating more, drinking more and like watching my weight. So this is when this is my best friend because if I'm still craving like a flavor or a juice, I have that, but with all the benefits of just having water. So when you pull up the pod, and drink because you can smell it's like all our senses are obviously connected not to make this a science lesson but when you drink the water and smell the pod it like tricks your brain into thinking that you're drinking the scent i promise you it does actually blow my mind every time but then again i have kind of got used to it where i do feel like i'm just drinking flavored water but you haven't got anything that comes with like juice or flavored water obviously because you're drinking the best thing possible which is just water i hope that makes sense and i'm not waffling i've also got all these other flavors which you can pick from which i have pineapple basil and lemon there's quite a few here actually honeydew melon so i need to pack all these in my case i'll put it in one of my little clear pouches which i will get to shortly because we haven't even gotten to my stuff yet but yeah air up is where it's at i will leave a link in the description box if you want to check them out and I was about to say this is the first thing that's going to be done in my case but i actually drink from it 24 7 so i will have to put it in lot well i'm not i'm going to take it on the plane with me empty and then fill it up let's carry on i'm going to start putting in ocean swim stuff now I had to make sure i got a whole new world i had to make sure i got uv protection like spf no upf 50 plus swimsuits which please bear that in mind if you're buying swimwear for babies i didn't know about it so she's going to be protected just in this because they can't wear sun cream under the age of six months so i'm going to sort these out and then we're nearly done with hers clothing wise and i'm going to start on my stuff One of the best tricks in the book buying the little decantable bottles i got these in primark the other day just because i can't seem to find any at the moment literally a pound and you get all these and the little labels which to be honest aren't that helpful because i don't think i'm going to use them for me i'm going to use them for ocean i'm thinking of putting just a little bit of her shampoo body lotion thing from nala's baby which one is it i think it might be in the bath already actually i'll have to go get it but I like to use the vanilla cloud ones and also I like to use this in her hair as well. Well, either of these, the detangler from My Little Coco or the coconut curling. It's just nice to have a little bit of one of these in her hair because it kind of holds her curls. Everyone always compliments how good she smells. It's always because I've put one of these in her hair. This one smells unreal, I can smell it. So I'm going to put a tiny bit in the spray bottle and then, yeah, her body wash and shampoo in the other. Right, it's official. We're on to my case. I got loads of these sent to me recently from Space and K. There's mini, medium, big, and I feel like these are going to be a dream to pack with. I also have, I use these as well, which are great for clothes. These will be good for like products and stuff. And then I've got a mummy version of the little bag that I've used for Ocean as well. I have actually started one of the pouches already. I'm doing swimwear. And to be honest, part of me just wants to, <laughs> to speed up the process a little bit, put all my outfits just free in the case. But 
I know I'm going to regret it. Does anyone else also <laughs> take all the tags off before they pack their case just in case it saves weight? Still packing. It's been many, many an hour. And I got Ocean back with me now. My nan was barely in this video, but she was here like most of the day. And now Cassie's back and he's bought all the goods. He went shopping because like I said, we tried to do like the click and click thing from Boots and um, I just left it too late, obviously, which is so annoying because this stuff weighs so much, but it is what it is. I just feel like where my holidays used to be, pack 100 outfits just in case. Now it's like pack 8 million things for the baby just in case. And I'm just going to have to stick to less things for <laughs> me first world problems and then there'll be more room for her bits and bobs but we also have two cases that can come into the airplane with us like what are they called cabin cases you know when you put them in the overhead compartment so we're allowed two of them obviously one each but because we've got her pram we've got the jewels air that is apparently approved to be cabin size i've had i've heard the odd story when airlines can be really fussy and they're like no you can't take your pram on but it literally it i mean it's called the jewels air because like air being airplane so what do you think she's been so good though literally she's just sitting here watching me aren't you like what is this lady doing why is she spending so long doing all this stuff it's because of you, actually. It used to take me a while, but it takes me double because of you. But yeah, because we have the pram, that counts as one of our, I think, as one of our overhead bags. So we've got one between us and then just like a handbag, which is fine. It'll be fine. Sorry if I'm looking more and more greasy throughout this video. It's just because I'm hot and sweaty and still trying to get these things done. <laughs> but I've made headway. Pretty much all my stuff's done. I've packed so I'm easy, I just obviously procrastinate and overthink everything, but hats, the only thing I've not done is uh, makeup, I've done all my like skincare and stuff, I've decanted all that, shoes, outfits, day outfits, night outfits, bag, a bag of an evening now, I'm going to have to have a bottle ready for her, so I'm going to have to have like substantial size bags, it's fine, we're getting there, but now I'm going to sort through the goods for you, that dad's just got from Boots. Yeah. Biggest after sun in the world. As opposed to what? Cass, that is not even going to fit in these zippers because it's so bloody big. <laughs> like it does, but that weighs, you're having that in your case, that probably weighs one kg on its own. You're not decanting. Cass, I'm using my decanting things on my fucking ocean. You didn't even say about after I was on the thought about after as well. No, Cass, it was on well, the list, I, but. No, it wasn't on the list. Cass, I'm not, that is, honestly, you picked up a litre. What? We're going got, for a we'll week. Use, we'll use that. We're going for a week. Yeah, when we get back, we still need it. No, we're not taking it. Sorry. It's no, Cass, seriously, I'm not taking that. We'll you need here, to then. find a smaller bottle. We'll have to buy some at the airport. Okay. God, you're so awesome, I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm absolutely not. Who messed up the shopping trip? I did not mess up. Cass, you did. I honestly asked you to get. Sorry, he d he's topless and he doesn't want to be in it, but. Nice? I wanted to get a 30, 20 and a 15 so we could like gradually, by the way, just for body, not for face, we've got 50 for face. No, she hasn't. I can't say, absolutely have got 50 for face, it's in that case there. But, he's got three, th why have you got three different brand 30s by the way? <laughs> no, <laughs> what is this, trial one, and error? No, one's Boots version, it's like £4 for bargain and then I thought Pisbee wouldn't have heard of that before and I said, that's, that's an oil so I thought it's good to have a good quality one for the oil. I room. can't cope with you, honestly. And, and then, then we've got enough after sun for the whole pool. Everyone around the pool, if you need after sun, just shout me. So it's better to have too much than not enough. Yeah, even though oh, she's laughing at you. Telling. Are you laughing at Dada? So silly, Dada. So when your mum's sunburn and can't carry you, who's to blame? <laughs> uh, By the way, do you think we should take the baby carrier even though she hates it? Nan said it's a really good time for us to get used to it because what, we, in the scorching of her sun? we've got time to kill. <laughs> Is he joking? I've just seen the wipes as well. I just said, can you get a couple packs of wipes for holiday? It's a 12 pack. Did you see my, anyone see my TikTok when I was like, every time I ask him for like, I'm like, oh, we've run out of fairy liquid. He comes back with three family value. As in like, not just a bottle of fairy liquid and three of them. Okay, fine. One for the whole street. 
the size of it, like this big, three of them. So we honestly, I mean, I think he does, you know when people like do something wrong so no one ever asks you to do it again, I think that's what he does to be honest. I get that you get more for your money with the big packs, but <laughs> good Lord. I've literally, I have to find homes for all this stuff. I think that's what he forgets. And we, I asked him to get about 40 nappies. He's got 60 and 44. 104 nappies. <laughs> Are you going to wear that many? You'll be grown out by the time we get through all these. Right, I think I'm done, to be honest. Ocean's in bed. I don't want to be far behind her, so I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm at that stage where I'm just hovering around because there's gaps and I'm... <laughs> be like shall i fill it but i think i'm just gonna be putting things in for the sake of it so i've got all my nighttime outfits just one bag i might put one more in we'll see um all my underwear is in here all my beach shirts some beachy outfits some pajamas and then i've got i have put her baby carrier in i don't know if you picked up what i said earlier but she's just going for a phase of not liking it if you've got a newborn put them in as much as you can i put her in it quite a bit in the beginning and then i stopped and now she's a lot more aware and she cries a lot but i just think it'll be handy to have um hats all my makeup some cowgirl i have a little beach tent that is basically just to have in case we need to shelter her more in the day. Oh, that's beach shirts. What's in that one? Oh, I think that's little tops. Yeah, that's little tops. And then swimwear, some skincare, but anything under 100 mil I've actually put in the hand luggage, which I'll show you quickly in a sec. Hairbands and jewellery. Look how good these zippers are. Literally made use of every single size sunglasses and adapters which these labels are from my labor bag and then really quickly this one is nappies formula wipes some heavy shoes and like i said all my under 100 mil clear bag things a little hat i'm pretty sure everyone knows this but you know when you put your liquids in a little airport throwaway bag they let you use these ones as long as it's like a similar kind of size and you're not taking the pee. So I've been doing this for years. My nan actually taught me this hack. And yeah, we've got, we're actually taking three tubs of formula because she's on dairy-free formula and it's prescribed. We just don't want to risk it. So we're taking more than we need because I just feel like it might be hard to find when we're away. Goodness me, it's hot. And then in Cass's case, he's got all of Ocean's, well, most of ocean stuff and then he's just doing his now and then little other things i've just had everything on charge right now like camera laptop her little mobile fan we've got her travel buggy ready oh actually this is my other hand luggage so we're allowed a handbag and in here quickly show you the third type of formula and then more zippy bags. Oh, we shot at this point. Some bits for the baby, just some ear defenders. I know people say give milk when you're taking off, which I plan to do, but just in case I need them. I feel like I probably won't have the bath of putting them on her, but we'll see. In here for me, I've got my sunglasses, um, a little handheld fan, like a fluffy one a throwaway little camera in this one i have a changing mat nappies wipes and i think a dummy because obviously no liquids in this bag because they're all in the clear one so her bum cream and stuff like that's in there and hand sanitizer etc so before i go to bed the last thing we've got to do is just i don't know if it is in the morning this is the thing that's really been mind-boggling for me is the milk situation I've got a newbie rapid call which everyone told me to get. I haven't actually used it yet. It literally came today. But I've watched TikToks on how to use it. And I'm just going to take that, a flask full of hot water. And then her bottle sterilised. And then I've got all the sterilising stuff like 
I've got a mix to be honest. I've got man bottles which are self sterilizing. I've got the Milton, is it Milton? Tablets that are sterilized tablets that you put in water. And then I've got uh, microwave sterilized bags. God, you can tell I'm a first time mum on my first trip, can't you? <laughs> like I said, I'd rather be over prepared. I think that is everything. Oh, I'm just literally staring at my tripod. I need to pack my tripod. And yeah, I think that's it. God, I'm gonna kick myself if I'm editing this back because I'm gonna edit this. Back in the day on the plane, I would have edited this, but we'll see. It'll probably go up whilst I'm away and then there'll be some form of holiday vlog, I think, if I'm not too stressed. <laughs> I'm literally looking around like anything else. Wish me luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And just a little reminder, you can shop Air Up in the description box. And I need to actually empty that and take that as well. God, I still have a few bits to do. It's like half ten. And our, our taxi's coming at four. Fifteen, I think. I will see you guys in my next video. And I love you. I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys.